In Britain, we are in the SH1 team. We have had more prime ministers, chancellors of the Exchequer, home secretaries and foreign secretaries than even I, a political junkie, could possibly remember without an auto cue delivering it extempore to you down this camera. Our political class is shot through. You could measure it by the knighthood that was given this very day to somebody called Chris Bryant. You can search him on the internet, you'll find him in his underpants on uh, some gay dating agency. You'll find him uh, in the list of apologia given for offences committed against parliamentary protocol, defaming people and having to apologise for it. You'll find them in lots of murky corners, Sir Chris Bryant. But never mind. Arise, Sir Chris. You're now a knight of the realm, which does nothing but tell us how cheap is now the realm. How cheap is the realm of the United Kingdom? Well, you can measure that by the fact that we are now apparently forced to call somebody called Camilla our queen. Although she isn't the queen, although she is in fact the queen consort, whatever that means, probably means that she consorted with the man that is now the king behind his wife's back for many years and played a considerable role in driving the actual queen of hearts, Lady Diana, completely mad. It was Camilla what done it. She drove her completely mad. And you could say, therefore, contributed to her unfortunate demise in a tunnel in Paris. Uh, this adulteress was herself married and the mother of several children during all of those years that she carried out her sordid affair with the man who is now the king. He wanted to be her Tampax. Other brands are available, but you ought to know that it is a sanitary uh, precaution that women of a certain age insert into themselves when menstruating. He was caught on tape describing how he wanted to be Camilla's Tampax. That's how cheap is the realm. But these are merely the fripperies of the realm. 